Tadaima! Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This is one of my favorite videos that I've filmed so far here in Japan. Me and my Oto-san father um, went on a shrine tour. We went and visited a few shrines in the area. They were absolutely so beautiful. So I have a lot, lot, lot of footage and pictures and information from those shrines that I am so excited to share with you guys. Shrine. We are at the Ishwa Iwashimizu Hachimangu. Shrine. I'm gonna voice over that because I don't know how to pronounce it. It's very quiet and peaceful here. And uh, this is a big like open area, but then over there, there's lots of trees. We're headed to a big statue right now. Oh, I wish I could swim in here. Not in here, here but- a giant koi. Oh wow, he's black. Here's the statue. The Gorinto is a five-tier stone pagoda erected in the Kamakura period. It is six meters tall and measures 2.4 meters across at the base, making it one of the largest of such pagodas in Japan. Wow. So here we are at the shrine and these signs are telling us that, hey, this is private property. Why would you build a shrine on private property? I don't know. You want to go in? I'm going to go in with you a little I believe this is a place of worship. You could see candle holders and some incense. Drink it. No, don't drink that. Look at that. Little lizard guy. You get that? I can't believe how blue his tail is. I know. I said that's a bamboo forest. It's crazy. Wow. Going to the bamboo forest. These might be gravestones, but I'm not 100% sure. So if anyone knows, let me know as well. We ended up finding a whole nother section. We thought we were walking through the bamboo forest, but it turns out it's a whole nother part of the shrine. Yeah, big stick. Boom, 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 <laughs> and hits the bell. Yeah. It is very well maintained, which I love. A lot of greenery, but it's not overgrown or anything. Pokemon Go Grind. Who's your favorite Pokemon? I don't have one. Mine's Espeon. I love them all. This is just, you know, out in the open on the road. Very nice. Oh, no. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna rain. This is Tokufuji Temple. This is freaking gorgeous. I wonder if they're carnivorous plants. I like the, the flowers that are blooming from them. At the top of this very, very, very tall shrine. This is the Zen Garden. raining here even though it's completely sunny hopefully we see a rainbow i'm actually loving this and it smells like fresh rain it's my favorite thing in the world she's organizing the book for me Climb to the top. Got some 
big stairs ahead of us. Little shrine at the top. Ringing the bell lets the spirits know that you're here. The fox god, awa awaken, Kami. Hiru gohan, itadakimasu. Try that dragon burger. Dad's making friends, of course. These are some of the best onion rings I've ever had. <laughs> On our way to the third and final Otera of the day, the Sanju Sun Getsu Temple, which is 33, the 33 temple. Um, as you can see, the, the rain clouds are coming in. We've been rained on a few times today. All right, let's explore. The garden. I wasn't allowed to photograph in there, but oh my god, definitely check it out. One of the most beautiful temples I've ever seen. We have gardens over there. I'm a little sad we didn't get to go in them or explore too much. Yeah, we came a little late, so it's closing now, but... Arigato! Closing time. So everything closes when it's done. But that building has some beautiful scenery. Um, you weren't allowed to record, so I will try to find some pictures online because it's definitely worth it. I'm thinking that they, it's called the Sanju San Gen Temple because that means 33, and I'm assuming that there were 33 gods. statues of the Buddhist gods which were absolutely beautiful to see. And they had probably a thousand golden soldiers or monks, or, and it was gorgeous. And the giant Buddha. Yes, and the giant Buddha. Is it so most fortunate, very good. Most fortunate, and then give me a little ice cream coffee. So much walking, we had to do a feet soak. Finishing the day off with some hapachi. First time trying sake. Me. See, I thought it was going to come off the shot glass. Oh, there we go. I was wondering. Oh, that. it's very sweet. Dana. Guy, why? One of each. One of each? So, it, or is, there two, is it all the same? I don't know. I, don't know. I thought it was two different cups anyway. I hope it's not a heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are at Tanjiro Kibachi restaurant where you cook your own meat. We're gonna rise up. That is delicious. I, I did mine and I put it in the soy sauce. Mm. There's no salt or anything on it. No. Really. We asked two servers which their favorite meat was and they all said tongue. Here's what we're making. Interesting. It's not bad, but I can feel like <laughs> when you bite the cheek, the skin off your cheek, it's a little bit like that. It's good. It doesn't compare to the steak. Right? I am going to the bar with my friend from Japan. I'm so excited. Well, because like it doesn't tell you where to go. Oh, so wow. that's around. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. song and let me sing forevermore you are all i long for all i 
worship and adore. In other words, take my, take my hand. I just said goodbye to my dad. Um, I've been drinking at the bar last night. I've got a little bit of a hangover. Just said goodbye to my dad. It was rough. He's been so fun and helpful and good to be on this trip with. That's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed sightseeing Kyoto and the temples that I went to, um, as well as the little clips from the bar and trying tongue. That was super excited. I will see you guys next time. Shane.